exactly how it proved. The first wicket took just four balls. Glenn McGrath having Jan Berry Berger caught at second slip by the safe hands of Ricky Ponting. Five for one then, Namibia. Having lost a second wicket, it didn't take long for them to lose their third. McGrath claiming his second victim, Mon Karg, caught at the wicket by Adam Gilchrist. In the next over, McGrath grabbed his third wicket, Brian Murgatroyd, leg before, for a duck. Namibia now way out of it at 17 for four. And by the ninth over, half the team had gone. Dan Calder went for three, McGrath again the bowler, and Gilchrist once more, the catcher. The old firm doing the trick, 28 for five the score. This was nothing more than a net for the Australians. Louis Berger then followed his younger brother Jan back to the pavilion. McGrath's fifth victim it was and Namibia were struggling to compete at all at 34 for six. Gilchrist then took a fine diving catch to dismiss the Namibian captain Dion Kotzer. McGrath's sixth victim and Gilchrist's fourth catch. Wicket number seven, Julie arrived three balls later. Bjorn cuts a clean bolt. That truly was a castling. McGrath had returned the best bowling analysis in World Cup history. A phenomenal seven for 15.